To begin the winterization process, the operator will want to build air pressure in the blowdown auxiliary air tank. To help the system keep up with the airflow needed to purge the system of water, the operator can always throttle up the truck chassis. To empty the water tanks on the truck, there are two drain valves on the truck. One is located on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. These are located underneath the water tanks and sometimes are found in the truck toolboxes. Depending on the year of the truck, it will be labeled where these are located. Simply open the valves and let the water drain out. Here the operator is turning off the main water supply to the water system and opening the purge valves in preparation to blow the water out of the system. The operator is running the water pump with or without water to help purge the system. With the auxiliary tank filled, you see the operator turning on the water purge and once again throttling the truck up to keep the airflow needed. With the water purge valve open in the shroud, you can see the water in the system is now pressurized and exiting the system through the drain hose. The operator now is going along and opening the other purge lines in the system, keeping the valves open until all the moisture and water is out of the system is the point here. Once the water is out of the system, connect your hose to the debris tank flushing nozzle in the shroud to clear the water from the water lines going to the flushing nozzles. After the nozzles have been purged, open the purge valve on the passenger side of the truck to ensure all of the water is out of that line. As you can see here, this process does take some time. Keep running the water purge system until all moisture is out. Once water is out of the system, throttle the truck back down and turn the auxiliary tank fill valve off. Wait until auxiliary air pressure reaches zero and turn the water purge valve off.